Meta has just announced Llama 4, describing it as a new era of multimodal AI. In this video, we'll explore all three Llama models. You'll learn about their revolutionary mixture of experts' approach and Scout's massive 10 million token context window. We'll demonstrate using Llama 4 via Grok's API with Python, testing it on a real movie database. There are three main models in this Llama 4 suite. We have Llama 4 Scout, Llama 4 Maverick, and Llama 4 Behemoth. Scout features 17B parameters with 16 experts and fits on a single GPU. We'll talk in a second about what an expert is. But first, let's talk about the sponsor, myself. Want to master Llama 4 deployment and build uncensored AI applications? I've created a comprehensive course covering everything from H100 GPU setup to building personalized AI assistants. What do you want? Don't waste my time with small talk. Check out the links in the description below to take control of your AI projects without the limitations of proprietary services. Now let's see Llama 4 in action. What's so exciting is you can have your own instance of Llama 4. For this, you can sell your car and buy an H100 or use a GPU cloud provider like RunPod and pay about $2 per hour. In the course, I show you exactly how to set up Llama 4 on a cloud provider with an H100 in just a few simple steps. But first, let's talk about the other models. Maverick matches Scout's parameters but packs 128 experts to outrank GPT-40. Actually, it outperforms more or less every available model except for Gemini 2.5. Llama 4 Behemoth is even more powerful but is currently still training, and I'm excited to share more details when it's available. What are experts? Llama 4 uses a mixture of experts approach. Imagine a smart manager directing your question only to the specialists who know that topic best, rather than asking everyone. For example, history questions go to history experts, coding questions to programming experts. There's also one general expert who helps with everything. This smart routing system makes Llama 4 powerful while using computing resources efficiently. But there is something even more impressive, really huge context windows. The Scout model has a 10 million context window. The context window is the amount of information we can feed into the model at once. Why do we need such a huge context window? Even the previously impressive 128K token capacity proves insufficient for many real-world applications. I'll demonstrate an example shortly where this limitation becomes apparent, helping you understand why the massive 10 million token context window represents such a revolutionary advancement in AI capabilities. But huge context makes only sense with precise retrieval. Here we see the needle in a haystack test results. For Llama 4 Maverick, it shows successful retrieval up to 1 million tokens, with only a couple of failures. Scout pushes this even further, showing perfect retrieval up to 10 million tokens in text. Let's watch OpenAI's video that perfectly demonstrates why needle in a haystack retrieval capabilities are so essential for working with large contexts. The model searches through this massive text, and we see it finds the exact sentence. Now let's consider performance and costs. We're looking at the Chatbot Arena leaderboard. And here I'm highlighting Llama 4 Maverick Experimental, ranked number two, even above GPT-40. This suggests top tier performance. Let's examine a benchmark comparison table. We see Llama 4 Maverick compared against Gemini, DeepSeek, and GPT-40. Looking at inference cost, Llama 4 Maverick is priced between 0.19 and 0.49 per million input tokens, which is quite competitive, especially compared to GPT-40's 438. The benchmarks show impressive results across the board, but let's put Llama 4 to the test with a practical real-world scenario to see how it actually performs in everyday applications. I'll be using Grok as they offer fast AI inference. I'll go to the developer console, here in the Grok Cloud console, we can start building. Let's jump into the playground. This looks like a standard chat interface. We can select the model up here. Let's see what's available. We see models from Alibaba, DeepSeek, Google, etc. I'm scrolling down to the meta section, and here it is. I'll select this one. Now we can interact with the Scout model. I'll start by typing hi, and we get a quick response. Hi, how's your day going so far? Let's try something more complex. I'll ask it to write a blog post about LLMs. We can see the text generating extremely fast. It's producing a full blog post covering what LLMs are, their architecture, 
applications, impact, and challenges. Let's check how we can integrate this via code. This modal shows sample Python code using the Grok library. We see how to initialize the client, create chat completions with the selected model, and message history. Let's go back to VS Code and implement this. I'm back in the terminal. I'll create a new file named app.py. Here's our empty file. I'll paste the code snippet we copied from the Grok playground. We have the Grok import, the client initialization, and the chat completion call. This includes the history, my hi, the assistant's reply, and my request for a blog post. I don't need this long history for a simple test. We also don't need all these parameters for now. Now, I need to set the API key. I'll export it as an environment variable, grok API key. Let's go back to the grok console. I'll navigate to the API key section. We need to create a new API key. I need to give it a name. Let's call it llama4 test. I'll copy it. Back in the terminal, I'll paste the key after the equal sign and set the variable. Now we can run the script using python app.py and we get the streamed response. How are you doing today? Is there something I can help you with? Or would you like to chat? Okay, that works. Let's try something involving a larger context, like analyzing a dataset. Let's go to Hugging Face, the home of datasets. I'll click on the datasets tab. We can search for datasets here. I'll search for IMDB. We get several IMDB related datasets. Let me find a suitable one. This one looks promising. We can see the dataset structure here. It includes columns like name, date, score, genre, overview, crew, etc. I want to use this dataset. Let's see how. We can use the datasets library, pandas, or croissant. I'll choose pandas as I want a local CSV. This modal shows how to load it using pandas. Let's create a script to download this dataset. I'll call it downloaddataset.pi. Here's the new file. I'll paste some code to load the dataset using the datasets library and save it as a CSV using pandas. Now, let's run this download script. Typing python download dataset.py. It seems to be downloading the dataset. OK, that took a moment, but it should be done. Let me check the file explorer. And yes, we have our new IMDb movies. Here's the raw data for all the movies. We see the headers, name, date, score, genre, overview, crew, etc. For example, here's the Super Mario Brothers movie with its details. I'll close the CSV for now and go back to our main app PY. Now, I want to load this entire CSV into the context and ask a question about it. First, let's add the necessary imports. Now, I'll load the CSV into a pandas data frame. We need to modify the message we send to Llama. I'll change the user message. Let's ask, what is the rating of Super Mario Movie? Now, the crucial part, I need to inject the entire data set as context. I'll add a new line, then context, followed by the data frame converted to a string, using IMDB DF to string, and close the formatting braces. Let's try running this. Uh-oh, we get an error. Request entity too large. This means the context window, while large, still has limits, and stuffing the entire CSV as a string exceeded Grok's current payload size limit for the API request. Let's verify this on Grok's model page. According to Grok, their model is currently limited to a 128k context window. However, this current limitation doesn't necessarily indicate a permanent constraint. Sending the entire raw dataset string didn't work. Let's rethink. We know the rating is in the CSV. Maybe I don't need the whole file. What if I just provide the relevant raw? I'll modify the context part in the code slightly. Instead of the whole data frame, I'll use a smaller portion containing the relevant movie info. Let's run it again with just the relevant context string. Success. It outputs. The Super Mario Brothers movie, 2023, has a rating of 76. This demonstrates using the Llama 4 Scout model via Grok. We saw how to set it up, get an API key, and interact with it using Python. While the massive context demo hit an API size limit, 
the underlying capability for long context retrieval shown in the benchmarks is promising.